dear children of God, as we approach the upcoming presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, scheduled for September 10th, the world is filled with speculation and discussion. Many are debating which candidate might emerge victorious, and opinions are flying. But, amidst all the no's and predictions, we must not forget a deeper, more significant truth. God's plan is already in motion, and it is far bigger than any political outcome. Some believe this debate is already decided, claiming that Donald Trump will lose to Kamala Harris. Others dismiss this as conspiracy or speculation, but we must not be deceived by human theories or conjecture. Only God knows the future, and he alone holds all wisdom and understanding. His will is what guides the course of history, not the schemes of people. Our faith teaches us that God sees everything, the hidden, the unseen, the grand, and the personal. He is aware of the manipulations, the illusions, and the earthly games that people play. Yet, none of this can alter his divine plan. Through the Holy Spirit, God grants us discernment, giving us glimpses of his will. But even with this insight, we must remain humble, knowing that his ways are beyond our comprehension. We might see fragments of the future, but only God sees the full picture. As followers of Christ, we are called not to place our trust in political leaders or earthly authorities. It is easy to become captivated by the charm, strength, or promises of human rulers. But we must always remember that God is the true sovereign. He reigns above all earthly powers, and his purposes will prevail. Our faith must remain steadfast in him not in those who come and go with the tides of human history. I am not here today to endorse any political figure or ideology. Instead, I come to remind you of the greatness of God who governs all things. The unfolding events in our world, whether political, social, or natural, are all under his control. In the end, it is not Kamala Harris or Donald Trump who will win. It is God who already reigns victorious. We must remember that the true victory we seek is not in the temporary successes of politicians or governments, but in the eternal kingdom of God. Scripture teaches us that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, Ephesians 6.12. This is where our attention must line out on the debate stage or political arenas, but on the spiritual battle that is waged beyond the physical world. While the world focuses on political contests, we are called to look to God, the commander of heaven's armies, who has already determined the outcome of the true battle. Earthly leaders may rise and fall, but God's kingdom will never fade. It is easy to get caught up in the frenzy of politics and the constant noise surrounding us. But as children of God, we must not let these distractions pull us away from our true focus. God alone holds the power to shape the course of history, and nothing that happens in the political realm can derail his plans. As people worrying about the outcome of the debate and place their hopes or fears in the results, we are reminded to put our trust in the one who reigns over all.